There are widespread worries that the changes made to the track ahead of this weekend's Italian Grand Prix may have a detrimental impact. A number of drivers have expressed dissatisfaction with the alterations to Monza, one of Formula One's old school tracks. They aren't happy one bit, and they didn't hold back to let F1, FIA and the whole world know. While the resurfacing of the track will be the most visible feature over the weekend, there have also been adjustments to the curbs, with some having their profiles adjusted and others being installed from scratch. Despite the fact that no F1 cars have yet ran on the new layout, Daniel Ricciardo took a peek at the new Monza after arriving on Thursday morning. They've changed the curbs. I went around the track this morning. I can't say I'm that impressed because I think some elements have lost some of the character of the circuit," said Ricciardo. Obviously, a lot of you have been following F1 even longer than me, and maybe it's just as a driver because we drive it and experience it so maybe it makes sense to us, I don't know if it makes sense to the outside. But curbs and things like this, they make a circuit unique, and when you just kind of put some flat curbs and stuff like second chicane, so turn 5, you get over the curb and then there was like a thin concrete strip and then gravel. In the past, you'd always just try and run your wheels on that little bit of concrete and use all the track, but not too much. It's quite bumpy as well, I think it was kind of old school and now that's gone. We haven't driven it yet, but the resurfacing looks great. The asphalt looks really nice, but the curbs I'm a bit disappointed in. Changes to the curbs include Variante Ascari, and while Ricciardo, who claimed that the drivers were not consulted on the new design, believes the races might improve as a consequence, he remains dissatisfied with the changes to the famed chicane. It's very flat now, so ultimately because we can use so much more curb probably, it's going to be wider and easier to be flat than through 9 and 10, he said. I don't want to be all negative, Maybe that means we can follow closer because it's easier flat, and you get a bigger slipstream. But I don't know. I think they still underrate the curbs and what it does to a circuit, how it changes the feeling, the character, the approach. We'll see. Obviously, I am going to enjoy driving here, but it feels like it's lost a little bit of that old schoolness that it had. We go to a lot of modern circuits now, which are fun, they're great, but if we're going to keep the old school ones, then let's keep them old school. That's a little bit of my concern. We don't need an overriding say, but at least just let us give some feedback. Maybe we save them money, they don't have to change the curbs. Maybe we have a more cost-efficient solution. We're still, sometimes, a little bit left in the dark. At the end of the day, we're driving. Okay, again, we don't maybe make a final decision, but at least hear us out and let us try and give the in-car point of view. Yuki Tsunoda, Ricciardo's teammate, had similar concerns but was unsure whether the improvements would benefit racing. It's a smoother, flatter track, flatter curbs, so it feels like it lost a bit of character of Monza, which maybe might be in a positive or a negative way, said Tsunoda. I think that Ascari, the first part of a curb you can use aggressively but some cars cannot, because you don't have much load as much as the other cars, and you have to kind of compromise lines. But I don't know how it will be on this track, but let's see. Speaking last week after the Dutch Grand Prix, Haas team manager Ayao Komatsu stated that the alterations and resurfacing would be the biggest challenge at Monza, since every car would be entering a slightly unknown when racing began on Friday. His driver, Kevin Magnussen, added his voice to the concern. I love this track. This is one of those races where you really feel like it's a Formula One race. Some of the new ones are great too, but they feel like new, almost like the new Formula One, and you feel like you're coming back in time a little bit, and I enjoy that. So it is a very enjoyable track and very enjoyable race, and I just hope the track still feels like Monza. I think it will, but sometimes subtle changes are made to tracks and they lose their characteristics. Lewis Hamilton, however, was reserved judgment until he took to the track in his Mercedes in FP1. I don't want to judge it until I've driven it. Maybe we'll get in and it'll be the greatest thing and the greatest changes ever, so I don't want to shoot myself in the foot with that. Ultimately, we loved it before. For years it has been super bumpy in so many places, and that has been a huge part of the character of what this track is. The curbs as well have been pretty much the same for definitely over 20 years. So it is a big, big change, but ultimately it is the same track. 
We won't know until tomorrow. It is going to be a lot smoother it looks like and quite a bit quicker. According to Williams's Alex Albon, the two practice sessions on Friday will allow the team to establish whether the alterations had a significant impact. I've seen it. I feel it has maybe lost a bit of its character. I feel some of the curbs that have been put in are a little more generic, and I think generally, Monza had a specific style of track. It was always bumpy, but that was not a bad thing and the curbs were quite unique. Let's see how it goes. I think there is going to be a lot of exploring in FP1 and FP2 with these curbs. Whether you can use them or not and how much you can use them will be a big question mark, but let's see. The importance of understanding the adjustments cannot be overstated, as evidenced by Aston Martin's decision not to run reserve driver Felipe Drogovic in FP1. Since determining the scope of the improvements, the team will now enable Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll to participate in the session to gain an early feel for the updates. Originally, I was giving my FP1 to Felipe here in Monza, stated the Aston Martin driver. Then we understood that the resurface was a little bit bigger than we thought. The curbs were different than we thought, so the team changed the plan, and I think it's going to happen in Mexico now. As the reality of changes to the curbs at the ancient Italian Autodromo became apparent, F1. Drivers agreed that the new flat layout were a step backward. Perhaps more frustrating for them was the fact that they, through the Grand Prix Drivers Association GPDA, had not been contacted beforehand and hence the drivers had no say in what was done. Instead, Monza officials proceeded alone with improvements to the historic site that appear to completely alter the essence of the track, and not in a way that drivers believe is preferable. GPDA chairman Alex Wirtz said that there had been conversations on the drivers' WhatsApp group throughout Thursday, with many believing that much of the Monza challenge had been lost. Yes, we debated the changes today in our chat group, he said, and whilst I have not driven the new curb layout in Monza, the old curb situation at corners like Ascari was such a rewarding precision work for drivers. While the high curbs at Monza have caused some controversy and problems in the past, drivers agree that replacing them with more flat curbs is not a smart idea. That's because the prior curbs each had their own distinct personality, making the Ascari chicane in particular a worthwhile challenge. Wurtz continued, It is hard to explain, but the unique curb Monza had there meant that just a few millimeters difference in placing the car meant you had understeer or oversteer, because the small water drainage dip grabbed the front tire or it did not. As a driver, you played with that, and man was it cool to nail it. It was suiting the Monza track with its style, nature, and unique character. Aside from the fact that drivers are dissatisfied with the modifications, there is considerable concern that they have not been consulted for feedback. Russell believed that the lack of information provided to drivers this time around was a disgrace for everyone in Formula One. It's something we've spoken a number of times in the past, that drivers are often the last ones to find out when there's track changes, he said. I'm honestly not sure who makes these judgments. I do not think it is the FIA. I believe it's the circuits themselves. I guess we have to appreciate that circuits are designed for a whole season and all sorts of different categories. But we've always said for these old school circuits with incredible character, you need to preserve them. What's your thoughts on that? Do you stand behind the drivers? And why do tracks feel the constant need to change things up without informing anyone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.